As we discussed in Part 1, prior authorization can delay patient care and waste valuable time and resources. That's why the current manual process is a prime candidate for automation through Electronic Prior Authorization, or EPA. The EPA technology described in this video applies to prescription medications and is integrated into physicians' electronic prescribing, or e-prescribing, systems. EPA does not involve re-entering data into proprietary health plan portals, downloading forms from payer websites, and certainly not using a fax machine. By keeping physicians within their usual EHR workflow and reducing data entry, EPA provides an efficient alternative to current fax and mail processes. Pharmacy EPA uses a standardized process based on electronic question sets. Although the questions may vary by health plan, the general look and feel of the process is the same for all patients. So how do EPA transactions work? First, the physician selects the patient's medication in the e-prescribing system. The EHR should indicate whether prior authorization is required, and if so, will prompt the EPA request process. EPA represents a workflow change for most practices. The physician or staff will complete the EPA before sending the prescription to the pharmacy, ensuring any prior authorization requirements are met prior to the patient arriving at the pharmacy. After the EPA request is submitted, the health plan responds in real time with an electronic question set specific to the medication and the patient's pharmacy benefit. The question set is dropped into the EHR work queue so the physician or staff can complete it at their convenience. Again, this will appear in the EHR and won't require visiting a separate website or portal. The EPA standard supports several types of questions, including true-false, multiple choice, and free text responses. Conditional logic allows physicians to skip questions that don't apply to a specific patient. The physician or staff reviews the completed questions on a summary screen before submitting to the health plan. The physician is notified through the EHR once a decision on the EPA request has been made. Physicians receive many EPA approvals within one minute of submitting a completed question set. Once a request is approved, the practice can send a clean electronic prescription to the pharmacy, confident the patient won't face delays due to unmet prior authorization requirements. Overall, there are many EPA advantages. EPA offers a uniform process, eliminates the need to manage numerous portals, efficiently stays within the e-prescribing workflow, reduces processing time, accelerates patient time to therapy, and again, prospective EPA prevents drug claim rejections at the pharmacy, addressing one important cause of medication non-adherence. Sound interesting? Learn more about how your practice can implement EPA and the AMA's broader efforts to reduce prior authorization burdens by visiting ama-assn.org slash prior-auth.